Today, we are talking about toxic links. No, not a gossip column or the latest pop scandal, though that might actually be more interesting. Instead, we're diving into the murky world of SEO, where your site's reputation can be sullied by some shady backlinks, much like a bad Yelp review. The term toxic links didn't really take off until after the Penguin updates in 2012. Back then, it was like the Wild West, with some folks in the gambling industry, because of course it was the gambling industry, slinging low-quality links at competitors faster than a shady casino dealer can shuffle a deck. This practice, known as negative SEO, created a whole industry of link detoxers peddling their services like modern-day snake oil salesmen. And while it isn't as bad as it used to be, the problem still persists today. So on the latest Google SEO office hours, when a user asked, how do you alert Google of sabotage via toxic links? Google's Gary Illies gave a, well, somewhat laissez-faire answer. In a tone that can only be described as relaxed to the point of indifference, he essentially said, ignore them. Yes, you heard that right. In a world where your digital reputation can be as fragile as a Kardashian's next PR move, Google's advice is to just chill. Gary reassures us that Google is really, really good at ignoring these irrelevant links. He suggests that if you must, you can disavow them or file a spam report, which is like telling someone whose car has been keyed. Just don't look at it too hard. Gary links to Google's explainer on disavowing links, which is basically Google saying, hey, if you messed up with paid links or any link schemes, clean up your mess or tell us about it. But here's the kicker. Google only wants you to disavow links if you have a truckload of spammy links and these links have caused or are about to cause a manual action against your site. In short, if you find your site riddled with these nasty links and you're sweating bullets about your rankings, take a deep breath. Google's got this, supposedly. 